Already taking an L with Verlander on the mound, man, the Mets cannot afford another loss, especially not with the pitcher they have on the mound today. You paid a lot of money for these two. These are the times you need them to produce. Speaking of paying a lot of money, Francisco Lindor coming in, writing a 10 game hit streak, doing all he can to help his team make the playoffs as they push for a wild card spot, almost at 300 with that average on pace for over 30 home runs and 94-ish, 95-ish runs batted in. Flaherty, super hot, 14 and three, 2.75 ERA. Marte, also hot, coming in with a double digit hit streak. Max Scherzer, now he hasn't been great this year. Six and 10, an ERA over five, but he's got three Cy Youngs. These are the games he lives for. He knows he has to produce. And it doesn't look good in the first. Bases loaded. Three consecutive walks. But the Cardinals have to get to Newbar. And he pops out. So the bases loaded. No outs. The Cardinals cannot find a way to push one run across. Maybe Scherzer gets it together. But at the end of one, not at zero. Donovan. 0-2 count with runners on first and second. Bottom of the second, much better for St. Louis. He's going to double. That'll push one run in. Tyler O'Neill coming across. Cardinals take a lead. Edmund. Good take there. The bases are loaded. Scherzer in the second inning with one out. Already over 50 pitches. Goldie grounds out to third. That looks like it's going to push a run across anyway. But it actually ends up being an error. So, still one out for St. Louis. Oof. 2 nothing, And Arenado hitting one down the line. 2-2 two, two count. Push two in. 4 nothing St. Louis. A four-run inning for the Cardinals. Scherzer can't be feeling good. Speaking of not feeling good, Lindor coming in trying to extend that hit streak. Unable to. Through the middle of the third, St. Louis up four. Lindor and Marte hitless to this point. Mark, though, trying to put his team on the board. Getting to the top of the fourth. That'll push in one. Runners at second and third, 4-1. So Jack showing the human side. He hasn't showed too much of late. Brett Beatty. O'Neal, as fast as he is, won't be able to get to that one. So that will score two. And now the tying run is in scoring position. St. Louis watching that lead dwindle away. But in the bottom of the fifth, Carlson off of Cookie. Going deep, dropping one into the pin. Cardinals get one of those runs back. 5-3, Dylan's eighth of the season. And St. Louis now up 5-3. Marte, top of the sixth, 0 2. Pops out to Goldie in foul territory. He's still hitless. Lindor, top of the seventh, flies out to right. Now, Lindor might not get another at bat. It's 5 3 after the Mets have batted in the seventh. Helsley coming in looking for save number 46. Maybe get that ERA down just a little bit more. We'll see what happens. Marte. Oof. He can complain all he wants about that one. I can assure you that's a strike. So Marte hitless. His hit streak will come to an end. As you can see, Gorman making the play at second. Cardinals beat Verlander and Scherzer. Win 5-3. Marte and Lindor both. Well, they don't lose, but they lose their hit streaks. But no hits for them. Still, the Mets had seven hits, three doubles. Scherzer drops a six and 11, four runs to earn runs. The RA is still north of five. For the Cardinals, eight hits, so they doubled their output from last game. Carlson with two. Herrera even got a hit. Crazy, huh? Flaherty, 15 and three now. One earn run, three runs. Donovan, <clears throat> 
Might have messed something up there, but that's okay. Flaherty gets the win. Helsley gets save 46. So the Cardinals have to be feeling pretty good. The Bats doing just enough against two very good pitchers, if nothing else by name. Let's see if they can keep things going against the Mets.